Yeah. Hey, Wastelanders, Mark here, and we are playing Borderlands 3 working on Mouthpiece. And I'm going to show you how to take this guy out fairly simply. This fight can be a little lengthy, but um, we can do it. Now, Mouthpiece is a level 10 boss. I recommend minimum level 6, but if you're level 7 or 8, it is going to make it more easy. Um, he's a little bit of a bullet sponge. There's a lot of little ads, little guys, little minions that he's going to have in this fight. Try to leave one or two of them around. They don't do too much damage. They're kind of annoying, but leave one or two up for a second wind. I ended up using it like twice in this fight. Um, you'll see uh, the speakers lining around the arena. They do this AoE attack. I'm going to show you how to avoid those. When he does his little dance, Right before the speakers blow, that means he's immune to damage. So save your ammo and keep moving. Keep moving in this fight. Mouthpiece tends to stick to the middle of the arena. And plus, if you're familiar with my videos, you will know I leave my mistakes in so you can see what not to do. Now, when you start the fight, Mouthpiece is in the back and he will always start there and he will always start with this AOE attack. Kind of like just to show you, there's the speakers. Kind of like to show you like what to expect. Now, he's only going to fire off the speakers directly behind him, but you can see the speakers on the right are not glowing. They are safe to be around, so you want to avoid the floor and the area where the speakers are. Now, you want to try and aim for his head because he has a shield and the head is almost always visible. You can see him dancing here too. Uh, and you can see the glowy, the cables on the ground and the speakers glowing. So we're safe here. And in the beginning of the fight, he's only going to do like one wall at a time. But there it is. The head is exposed. He has a big shield. Aim for that head as best you can. There's a lot going on here. And he does a fair amount of damage too. Um, now, you can see he's starting to dance. When the center, when he does AoE in the center, just stick to the outer parts. Don't go in there. He's immune to damage. Um and he will do a lot of damage to you if you're in there. So stick to the outer part. Um, and these little ads, like I said, just kind of avoid them. Try to keep, if you're playing as Flak, try to keep your pet up because the pet is definitely going to help out in this fight. Um, it's worth whatever ever damage you take to keep your pet up. Um, now you can see, here he goes again. He's going to start doing his little dance. He's immune. See immune popping off of him? So it's basically just a waste of ammo. Don't do what I do right there. Don't do what I do and get excited about loot and just charge <laughs> through one of his attacks. Not a good idea. Um, try to stay a little patient in this. Now, like I said, keep one or two of the ads for second wind. Um, look at it. I, I don't know if the AI is broken or if they're supposed to be this dumb, but they kind of just dance a little bit and they don't they don't seem to be really that aggressive. So it's pretty, pretty easy to leave a couple of them around. Um, but try to take them, take most of them out, and he'll keep summoning ads, but just leave the one or two. Now, um, there's a lot of loot boxes around the arena. Just try to stay away from the speakers while you're looting. Um, but there's plenty of ammo. Now, when I went down, totally, totally um, ready because we have several of those little minions around, basically to resurrect. Um... Now I was starting to run. I was running a little low on ammo, able to keep up with all the chests. Don't forget, off into the back, there's also chests. And just, it's kind of a war of attrition here where we're just kind of taking shots at him when we can. When he's dancing, he's immune. <laughs> I got killed in mid jump by the speakers, which is kind of awesome. But again, if you leave the minions up, it shouldn't be a problem. So I got my second wind. I'm working my way around back. Sometimes he'll turn his back to you and you can get some shots in that way. Look at the cables. So jump, get in the middle, and totally avoided all the AOE. So he's at about like, he's almost 25%. So aiming for the head, and look, it's doing, it's doing a ton of damage there. Got out of there just in time, and there we go. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It helps me out quite a bit. I'm going to leave the video running in case anybody needs help getting out of the, the arena or fighting or finding one of the um, secondary missions where you find a head in a glass jar. <laughs> Don't. That's a, that's a really fun quest. Don't forget to do that one. All right, guys. Thanks. Didn't know you were such a super fan. Oh, you missed the show. Oh, right. Bet you're all like, what's up with those husks? Well, it's a thing I do. Check out the screens. So I offered the Sun Smashers a place in our family, but they just wanted guns and cash. They betrayed the family. Oh, then Trace did something great. 
Gods don't negotiate. Gods don't negotiate! I love it! Love it! Like I said, that map is super busted, so go ahead and take it! I'll swing by later to pick it up. You're my most loyal follower, Vault Thief. You just don't know it yet. I knew you'd find the map, Killer. Bring it back, and don't let it out of your sight. I lost it once. I won't lose it again. Vaughn, do you know this decapitated bandit? Ah, no way! That's my deputy war chief, Vic! <laughs> She's my best brunette! Grab that head! They must have been interrogating her in VR. You know, we used that same tech back in Hyperion when we caught a corporate spy. Or when someone's broccoli salad got stolen from the break room and I didn't have time to make more. Anyway... Vic's trapped in a virtual torture chamber. You gotta go in and get her out! Exciting. I have never hunted in a head before. There should be a VR console by the gate to the HBC. Just hook her head up and your echo device will digistruct you right into the VR construct. I'd go in there myself, but uh, VR stuff totally screws me out. <laughs> no one's gonna take my body apart molecule by molecule without a fight. I'm an analog man! I gotta say, I'm surprised the COV are using VR tech, but, you know, then again, it's pretty cheap these days. You go. Glad to have so many badasses on our side. Oof. 
Good luck getting that map back. I don't go anywhere near that holy broadcasting center if I can help it. That is crazy cult central right there. <laughs>